I absolutely love accordion blocks on Squarespace. I think they're one of the best updates that they've brought out to the platform for a long time. But one thing that does annoy me is that we can't really add too much into that block other than text. And I had a client a couple of months back and they said to me, Sam, can we have some buttons in the accordion? And I was about to go back and say, no, sorry. But then I thought, well, why don't I just have a quick thing, see what I can do and come up with a coding solution. And it turned out that with a little bit of code, we could actually get that effect exactly how we wanted. So I'm gonna show you today how to add a little bit of code to enable you to add a button into an accordion block on Squarespace. Wow, that was a mouthful. <laughs> anyway, over to the screen and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, let's get into this live coding example. So let's add the accordion in, we'll add a section and then we will select accordion. We'll have this span the whole section. So what I want to show you is when we go into an accordion item, let's just move this and we look in here. So what have we got? We've got the option to add text. We've got the option to make that text bold. We've got the option to make it italicized, underlined. We've got the option to add a link. We've also got the option to have no formatting, but no one cares about that. So the likelihood is our buttons are going to link somewhere. Otherwise, why would we make them buttons? And with that in mind, we're going to keep this as a link. I'm just going to give it a hashtag for now to make it a link. If I click save and then expand this, you can see when we open up the accordion, it's just a simple link. Now, what I want to do is go into our custom CSS by going to design custom CSS. And I was just testing out code for a previous video. So we're going to make some new lines and we're going to call this accordion buttons. Now, what we want to do is find our block ID, which is here, copy that. Then we're going to put a, and then we're going to open and close the squiggly brackets. So this is targeting this particular block and a targets links. I'm saying to Squarespace, okay, whatever goes inside these squiggly brackets, is only to be applied within this block and two links only within this block not applying it to anything else what i want to do is then go border and we're going to make that solid 1px and you can see it adds a border we're going to make this border red then we're going to do a semicolon and then we're going to say okay this border i want it to be pill shaped i want my button to be a pill and not a box so we do border radius and i'm going to give this a radius of 50 px and you can see it goes curved then we go down and obviously it's it's quite contained on the text so you want to pad that out padding and then let's say 10 px blow this up and okay so it looks like it's a little bit too high and it's going over here a little bit so what we want to do is probably add a little bit of text above this if we go back into edit what we can try first is adding a little bit of padding on the top. What we want to do is go to design and then we want to click description. Then we want to go to the padding section here. Then click these three dots and give some padding to the top. And you can see that our border is being shown. So I'm just going to add a little bit more here. Let's say 10 PX. And then we're going to add some padding to the left as well, just so it's not too tight. So I'm just going to add 2 PX there. If we hit save you can see that our button is nice and visible. But I do want to add some more padding, so I'll probably go back to 10px. And you can play around with this. You can actually change the padding on the top and the bottom and the left and the right separate to each other. So if I do 10px, you can see that there's more padding on the left and the top than the bottom and the right. So if I was to add one there, you can see that targets the right and this would target the bottom. So let's say we want five and then 15 on the sides so 15 on the sides and 5 on the top if we do 5px 15px we get this which i think looks pretty good now you can play around with this as much as you want we can also add background colors and hover effects so if we do background we can make this red or we could use hex codes to make it black and then if we were to do and hover open our brackets and say background white important you can see that we have the button hover effect now i would also add a transition to this make that 0 0.2 seconds and i would use the same transition 
up here. So you can see there's just a slight delay and it looks a bit more professional. And you can play around so you can change the color of the text with color, just say white, like so. Well, we'd probably make that black actually. So we do that and then we make this color white. And what I'd probably do now, just to make things look better, is say, well, I'd border black to this. And then you can see now it looks a whole lot slicker. So it looks like a proper button now. If you want to not have the border radius, then you can also do that. Just get rid of this and you can have a nice block. Get rid of the background, get rid of the text, and you can just have this nice effect like so. It's completely up to you. The customizability is pretty endless with this. So we'll save this. Now let's say you want to change all accordion blocks on your site. What we would do, instead of targeting just one block, we'd open up Chrome Developer Tools. What we want to do is then highlight our accordion. We want to find the parent target of the accordion. So SQS block accordion, go back. And then we just want to replace that block ID like so. And you can see nothing's changed. Now, if I was to duplicate this block by clicking here and duplicate, just move it down. And then what we're going to do is save. Now, this should be applied to both. You see, we've got our buttons but if it was just applied to this one here or if it was applied to just that block id you can see it only works on this accordion so it depends what you want to do if you want to target every single accordion go with the second code if you want to target specific accordions so let's say you want to target this one and then this is on another page for instance you could copy that then you would put a comma here, paste your block, and then A again. And then you could be targeting those specific ones, but not target every single one on the site if you're going to use accordions for other things. So hopefully that makes sense, and hopefully it's helped. If it has, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and check out all of the Squarespace resources in the description.